Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will see types of groupings. One of the most important thing that you need to do when designing a topology is to define how data is exchanged between the components, like how streams are consumed by the bolts. A stream grouping specifies which streams are consumed by each bolt and how the streams will be consumed. A stream grouping tells a topology how to send tuples between two components. Remember, spouts and bolts execute in parallel as many tasks across the cluster. If you look at how a topology is executing at the task level, it looks something like which you can see on the diagrams here. So we have different types of groupings. So the first one is shuffle grouping. Shuffle grouping is the most commonly used grouping. Shuffle grouping distributes tuples in a uniform random way across the task. An equal number of tuples will be processed by each task. This grouping is ideal when you want to distribute your processing load uniformly across the tasks and where there is no requirement of any data driven partitioning. And the next one is all grouping. All grouping is a special grouping that does not partition the tuples but sends a single copy of each tuple to all instances of the receiving bolts. This kind of grouping is used to send signals to bolts. For example, if you need to refresh a cache. Another example is, uh, if you are doing some kind of filtering uh, on the streams, then you have to pass the filter parameter to all the bolts. This can be achieved by sending those parameters over a stream that is subscribed by all the bolts. This will be executed. And the next one is field grouping. Field grouping allows you to control how tuples are sent to bolts based on one or more fields of the tuple. It guarantees that a given set of values for a combination of fields is always sent to same bolt. For example, if you want that all the tweets from a particular user should go to a single task, then you can partition the tweet stream using field grouping on the username field so that all messages from that uh, user will go to one bolt. So in such scenarios, field grouping will be used. And the next one is global grouping. Global grouping sends tuples generated by all the instances of a source to a single target instance, specifically the task with lower ID. So all the messages will be sent to a task with lower ID. A general use case of this type is when there needs to be a reduced phase in your topology where you want to combine results from previous step in the topology in a single bolt. It's like, you know, we are collecting uh, data from all the bolts. And if you want to sum it up in such uh, scenarios, we will use global grouping. 